Okay, here is our Model 3 Long Range. It is back from service. They had it overnight, and I'll walk around and show you all the things they did. First thing they did was replace this piece of plastic right here. It is now fitting tight to the body, so everything looks good. And now looks the same as the other side of the car. It's all snapped in the way it should be. Everything looks good. We had a rear door handle on the passenger side that was recessed, and now it looks much better. It looks much more flush to the door now, so I'm happy with that. It looks much more similar to this one. They look the same. Now, what they said about the panel gaps, they said they are within spec. If you're getting a Model 3, expect this panel gap. And they said you gotta go by where the, where the metal meets. These points have to line up. They're not concerned with this gap here. There's nothing to adjust for this. It's where it should be. And it is the same on this side, so at least it's even on both sides. But they said this panel gap up here, they said this is all within spec. And I'm okay with that. The main thing that bothered me was the noise inside the car and that door handle. They said about this right here, about this panel gap, they said this is normal. And they said, don't look up here to these pieces of plastic. You have to go by these points right here. They said if the body lines don't meet up, then you have a problem. But they said as long as these body lines are meeting up, it's in spec, they're not going to adjust anything here because there is nothing to adjust. Your Model 3 is likely to have the exact same thing. And I looked at other Model 3s that were brand new, that were waiting for their new owners, and all of this is the same on every car I looked at. So this is what to expect if you're getting a Model 3. Okay, about the rattling noise I heard coming from the dashboard. The technician went for a ride with me so he could try to pinpoint where the dashboard rattle was coming from. And he told me that it would take some trial and error to figure out where it was coming from. It was probably coming from somewhere in the frunk area and he wanted to investigate that further. And he said he'd probably need to have it overnight to properly diagnose the problem and make sure it was resolved. And the rattle was being caused by a wire harness tapping against the firewall. So he isolated that somehow and I don't hear it anymore. What I do hear is some creaking noise coming from the passenger side door pillar. Not a big deal, and I won't bring it back for that. But if I do go back to service anytime soon, I will mention it and see if there's a fix for that. But it is really minor, and I probably didn't notice it before because I was so focused on the dashboard rattle. But these Teslas aren't perfect. Um, they have slight imperfections, and you just have to know that going into one of these. The service team at the Orlando Service Center, which is actually called Eatonville, they're very friendly. They did take interest with all my concerns. The Eatonville shop is very busy. They're making a lot of improvements to that site. They just installed some superchargers and some wall connectors in their parking lot. They're also working on the service department. I think they're expanding it or redoing it, but they're a very busy shop and there's a lot going on there. So just be prepared if you're picking up your car from that location, it's a busy place. Aside from the little creaking noise I hear on the door pillar, the car is completely silent on the inside. It's really nice. But if I have the music on, you never hear it. So it's not a big deal. And I always have the music on anyway. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Those two things really help the channel get promoted. And until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.